All right, we have got some beautiful blue skies, which means, what day is it today? Oh, it's a big day today, we've got <laughs> some holes in the van. If you're new to this channel, we're James and Sarah, also known as the whole world or nothing. We used to be full-time backpackers, exploring the world and writing about our travels in our blog. And then the world changed. We got repatriated from Peru and found ourselves back in the UK at a loose end. So we decided to do a van conversion. Make sure you hit subscribe now so you can join us in this series as we share the highs and many lows of converting an old Mercedes Sprinter panel van into our dream home on wheels. We are just talking through the process, watched a couple of YouTube videos, getting ourselves prepared with all the tools and the bits and bobs that we need. We're just going to have to do it. We're both <laughs> feeling really nervous. It's a big deal cutting holes in your van. It is. I mean, the thing is, if we don't seal it correctly, you know, you can't reseal it, I guess. It's if we cut the hole too big. Yeah, try not to do that. There's numerous fans available for van conversions, but the one we went for was the Max Air Max Fan Deluxe. Not gonna lie, it's pretty pricey, but it's widely regarded as the best you can buy. We're just getting the final bits of prep done before we start drawing out and cutting the hole. And one of those bits is to tape over the underneath of where we're gonna be drilling through, because we're gonna be drilling from the outside of the roof. And we don't want electrical filings and stuff like that to just be flying all over the van. Metal so, filings? Metal filings, not electrical filings, yeah. <laughs> to be flying all over the van, so we're taping a plastic bag over the bottom, so hopefully that's going to catch the majority of them and make it easy to tidy up. And the reason we don't want them in the van is because they cause rust. Obviously we've gone to great lengths to try and make sure that we're not going to get any rust. The next stage was to draw out the hole that we wanted to cut out onto the roof. I made an absolute hash of it and ended up with some kind of wonky trapezium shape so Sarah had to step in and completely redo it. A set square definitely helps when you're drawing a square. How do you feel? <laughs> it's pretty nerve wracking, drilling holes in the roof of your van, yeah, um, that feels good. I feel like uh, I want to attack it, you know, not be scared of it. <laughs> Go after it, otherwise I'm going to end up making a mistake. We drilled holes in all four corners, then used the jigsaw to cut along the outline. You've done it. Got a hole in the van. <laughs> we filed down the edges, vacuumed up all the metal filings on the roof, and checked that the hole had no sharp bits. Smooth? I think that's all right, yeah. I'm just gonna offer up the flange to see if it fits. <laughs> and does the flange fit? Like a glove. Painting any bare metal with anti-rust hammerite paint, we got to work building a wooden frame for the fan to clamp onto on the underside of the roof. However, this is the first time I've made one of these, so I think it's all right. And the most important thing is that this, which is called the flange, fits in here, like so, so that when we screw these through, they go through the roof and into the wood. We glued and clamped the frame and started getting the roof ready to install the fan. What you got there then? This is the most expensive primer in the world. I wasn't joking. That small 250ml bottle cost more than 40 quid. After reluctantly applying it to the roof, we started sticking mastic sealing strip on top of it. This stuff is like a super sticky moldable putty, but more importantly, it's completely waterproof and never sets hard, making it perfect for this job. We 
Because of the ridges in the van roof, we needed to make the area that the fan was going onto even, so we built up layers of mastic until there was a solid foundation. So Jay's put the flange on, he's up on the roof and he's just pressing it down and all the mastic sealing strip with it to make sure it's stuck on. I think you've put some Sikaflex flex on as well, right? A bead of Sikaflex around it as well, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty stuck, it's pretty solid. I okay. It's going anyway. The next bit is, we've got the frame here ready, all glued, that's stuck together nicely with the wood glue. So I'm gonna put some Sikaflex around that and then hold it up and you're gonna screw through it with some, what are they? Brand. Self-tapping screws. Self-tapping screws, self-drilling, so they should go th right through the flange, through the mastic, through the metal, and then into the wood, and hopefully clamp the wood to the metal and provide a bit more support for the fan and for the flange. We've sealed the mastic strip with some extra seal, so that's got thicker all around it now and all on the screws and everything like that. So we're ready to put the top on, yeah? Let's do it. So we got a little bit worried there because when we put the fan on, there's four holes in the flange that are meant to correspond to four holes in the actual fan and that's where you put screws in to secure it that's all that secures the fan to the flange but when we put the actual fan on we couldn't see those holes <laughs> so it looked like we'd installed it wrong or put it on the wrong way or something like that but what you have to do is just push it quite far and then you get to see about half of the hole and if you get the screw head or the, the tip of the screw into the bit of the hole that you can see and start screwing, then it pulls it down onto it. So we managed to do that and it's in. The roof window has arrived. So we are going to pop that on the van. We're gonna do it in exactly the same way I think as we did the roof fan because it's by the same manufacturer so first of all we're going to make a wooden frame we actually cut the hole in the van last time and then made the frame afterwards but we're going to do it the other way around this time because it took quite a long time to make this We got a call to go and pick up our lino, so we went and did that. So we've not got time to cut the hole in the roof and actually fix the window. I keep wanting to say fan, fix the window in today, but we've measured it all out and got everything ready, double checked the instructions. So first thing in the morning when we get up, we should be ready to cut the hole and get it stuck in. So what are you saying, you ready? I'm ready, everything's up here. Yeah? Got yeah. the screws? No. <laughs> Got to cut the hole first though. Oh right. What we're installing today is a roof light and it is the Max Air Sky something or other, Sky Fan I think. And it's the 40 by 40 one so it's a 400 mil by 400 mil hole that we need. We've already got that drawn out so all we need to do now is literally drill it, cut it, file it, paint it, mastic it, get the frame stuck in from the inside, get this pushed in on the outside and put the finishing flange on. But the instructions aren't great and it doesn't actually look like the best piece of kit compared to the fan so we're not 100% sure this is going to go all the way to plan but we'll only find out when we start doing it.
We've got the hole cut. We have filed it down a bit just to get rid of any big burrs or sharp edges. And we have painted it with hammerite as well. So now we're gonna do the inner bit, which means fixing this wooden frame that we built yesterday to the inside of the ceiling. And we're gonna sycaflex that on. And we're also gonna clamp it just to keep it there in place whilst it dries, which shouldn't take too long, but um, it's always good to, to be safe. Just don't want it dropping off. And then once that is dried on, we can get on with actually putting the vent in. So this is what we're left with, the wooden frame clamped on on all four sides and hopefully that won't take too long to stick. Now at this stage it promptly started raining so we came up with an innovative solution and popped an umbrella through the hole. Problem solved. We've had a little break in the rain. We're going to get back on the roof and we're going to try and get this thing in before it properly starts raining. So I'm just going to prime the surface up here where the mastic strip is going on with this sicker primer. Most expensive primer in the world. <laughs> you need to shop about that you know. I would say ration it but actually there's tons of it so lather it on. We're nearing the end of the mastic and we ended up with about four layers in the deepest recesses between these bits and just one layer on the top there. And so we're just finishing off this side. The hinge goes... Hinge forward. Hinge forward so that it opens this way. Yeah. We just spotted a few little gaps where we could actually see daylight and we don't think that we put enough mastic on on some of the recesses outside. So Sarah's just putting a little bit in to fill that up. It should be fine. And we're also gonna go around the edge with a bead of Sikaflex as well. So we're pretty certain that it's gonna be watertight. It also all needs to be clamped together, but uh, just making sure that we're safe rather than sorry. It is pretty much impossible to make this flex look perfect. However, the key to it is if you use some water and um, your finger basically dab it in it, you can just basically push it into all the little cracks that it needs to be. And if you just run your finger on it, you can get it pretty much nice and smooth. If it's sticking to your finger, then it's still too wet. You need to leave it like 10 minutes or so to let it go off a little bit and then you can like mold it a little bit when like the outer skin's dried if that makes sense but the inside of it is still soft a bit like a marshmallow after letting that dry the roof light was done do you like it I'm undecided. Really? <laughs> oh no! I love the fact that it's a skylight and that it's going to be above the bed, but I'm pretty sure that this thing might give us some problems. I think it's not the best piece of kit. You think it might leak? I don't think it's going to leak necessarily, but it's just not very well made or it doesn't seem very well made. Only time will tell, but... The plastic just seems really flimsy, doesn't it? It does. The mechanism doesn't seem particularly good. The lock is really shoddy, so yeah, we'll see. 
Well that's all for this week folks. If you enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up button and drop us a comment down below as well. If you're not already subscribed, go on, hit the bell button so you get notified every time we post a new video. Join us next week when we'll be cutting more holes in our van, but this time to install our windows. <laughs>